We love it in the morning. This is Kai 959 on the street on the air. Legends, come on, step up. Kai family, not just Boom Shaga. We got Utembi in studio. Utembi Sile, good morning, my queen. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, guys. Sister Rujan. Ah, sister. Yeah, Pila. I'm not going to judge. Any as I'm moving back and sister Gunjan. No, like I've see, never I see Kulumile abu sister no sis nani nani. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, understand and get a bong. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Raj. Before it was Boom Shaka. Yes. It was LMT. Mm-hmm. Tell Skumba who LMT is. Skumba doesn't know, ne? Ah, oh, he's young. Ah. Ah, oh, he's young. This you one. know, I was about to, but Thomas, you know the story. But I just remembered, good to Kumba was Why probably yeah, not still Kumba. around. He wasn't around. Why he sends you home? So L and T, it's Lebo and Tembi. Way before Boom Shaka. It was just something that we came up with. Good to just keep it busy after school. You know, imitating different artists. Mm-hmm. Singing and just keeping ourselves busy. We called ourselves L and T. Lebu and Tembi. No, basically. Exactly. No one really cares about that right now. Nenda ba de pumsa. Ah, nyak nyak schoola man. School nyak nyak chela guti gu kale gu upi. You were there. You were there. He doesn't believe me that I was there when Tato Mandela was making that speech in Cape Town for the very first time when he came out of prison. I was there. I lived that experience. Yeah. So I've seen all this. Boom shaga, Thomas. It's one thing, Joe. We changed our country. We were part of the Absolutely. transition. <laughs> We were part of that movement <laughs> to set you free. Check and Thomas. <laughs> the day so, you met Uleb with Ozzy Studio. Oh wow, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And Ozzy's like, Joe, tell me I love you, ne? Yeah. But you need to meet Uleb. Uleb. Yeah. And when why this rapping can like <laughs> Mamela, <laughs> put your headphones on so you can hear. Okay. Before you even met to label when are you were banging these kind of beats. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Here it goes. Hey. Give me one, two, the top. Come on, I want to feel it in my heart. So now you know. I what I ain't and what I is. It's the best. Yes. The party that rocks best the party. Is you rock the party. Hey. That rocks the party. I rock hey. the party that hey. rocks the party. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes, Kumba, you educated my baby. Yes, <laughs> these are the tracks. <laughs> this is how we used to do it. We mm-hmm. imitate these kind of songs. This is where we got our soul and motivation. So you go to Ozzy's studio, meet yes. Label, and then because I'm sure you saw Label's ah, rough around the edges. Like I look at Kumba, I'm like, ah, lo, I'm Polisha. Yeah, he actually sat me down, and then t- he said, "Tell me, you have to have to meet this lady because you guys have." you know, something similar going on. The yeah. energy and the passion and just that, you know, the love for music. And I was like, you know what? I'll sacrifice to cut the long story short. I'll sacrifice. I'll make sure that I am here during the week because obviously I was, I was at school. So obviously mm. we have Gulisanya and all of that just to go <laughs> <laughs> and meet this lady, you know? And when I eventually met Ulebo, that was the beginning of my life, yeah. the beginning of the biggest thing. I couldn't believe, you know, there are people like that, you know, such power and talent and passion really existed. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. It's the kind of thing that you'd see on stage, I mean, or on, on TV or hear about it on radio or something. It was just rare yeah. to, to, to meet someone that was just powerful like that and mm. not even know that she she had that that, yeah. that power, you sure. know? And she, I, I, I just like, you're not going anywhere. You're my friend, you're my sister forever. And that was the beginning of the biggest times. Talking about the biggest times, yeah. you guys, you, as Boom Shaka, you performed almost everywhere. But there's always going to be that one performance. Not yeah. that one yeah. that will always be with you. No matter about today, I don't want to feel like doing this thing. I don't yeah. want to be, I want to be Tembi today. I just yeah. want to be my, my, my other, like my other alter ego. But that one performance where you say, okay, th- this is us, yeah? Yeah. This will never go away. Where was it? You know, we had, we had, I think, I don't know, a whole lot of best, unforgettable performances and experiences. But the mm. one that always stands out, Studio Mix, bra. Oh! The very first. Wow. 
the very first performance, I remember we were wearing black and white and we had gold braids. And then Dr. Martins yeah, yeah. and we had like these skimpy tops. And people were like, Abuban, Labantuan, are these South Africans? <laughs> Where are they from? That was the beginning of the most, I don't know what, but Studio Mix kind of like, I, I, would say, I would say South Africa stood still that day. Because sure. everyone was asking themselves, they were asking themselves, Hore, banabana kibomang. what kind, the music, it's so international, it's so rare, something that we've never heard before. So everything was fresh. But there were a whole lot of uh, performances performing, you know, Libo Janet Jackson uh, being an opening Hey act. now, hey now, <laughs> hey now. Same um, problem. You know, problem. performances opening for Shabarang. Hey, you know? hey, come on, come on. Keep, keep it moving, keep it moving. You know, um, yeah, some I forgot, but really powerful performances. And we also opened for people like Brenda Farsi. We, you know, we just like, we mixed with the, the right people. The right people. Everybody yeah. thinks that Oscar's the one. Yeah. Ozzy was the one that found you guys. But Oscar o- saw you guys at Club Arena. Yeah. And then here comes with Theo with Amat Jens looking like Tevin Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> and then juniors with Prophets of the City. Shout yeah. out to them. Cape Town Love, right? And Oscar's like, let's put them together. Uh-huh. And then something happened. And then something happened. Does Junior get the credit that he should get for coming up with the biggest hit you guys have ever had? Who came up with It's About Time? Sure. Because remember artists back then would have their names being mentioned, like Asha, for example. Yeah. Asha, Asha, Asha. Yeah. And Junior's like, no, they must talk about us. Us. That was exactly what happened. It was a conversation going to Sluchelo in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. Twani. Mm. Do you know, remember there was Tlochelo Medunsa and those sure. were like, the, the festivals were insane. And it was a conversation on our way because we really didn't have a song at that time. Yeah. And Christos decided, I'm going to invite these people and you guys better come up with something. And we thought, you know what? International artists, they introduce themselves and they talk about themselves and there's absolutely nothing talking about yourself so people can know who you are. And we thought, there has to be our name there. Bumshaka has to be somewhere there. And it's Junior that said, yeah, it's, it's time. It's time they talk about us. It's time they talk about Boomshaka. And number one, Boomshaka is explosion. Explosion, you know, it's, it's like a bomb. And then Shaka is the king of Zulu. Come on. Most, the most powerful Zulu king, you know. And when you put it together, it, it, it's a mess. And that's who we are. <laughs> and it does a mess. It does really And that's mess. how it's, uh, it's, it's, it's about time. You listen to Boomshaka. You know, came about you think on our way to Sluchelo. You think that Utembi is humble, ne? but how? Uh, <laughs> the first time they all got together at Club Arena, Theo walks up. And goes, I know you from somewhere, man. Centurion College. Yes. You didn't even know you guys were the same college. You used to walk right past you. You know what? Not even. It was difficult to ignore Theo. Not with that beauty. Forget about it. Forget about uh-huh. it. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> It was cute. And then just after a couple of years, two years, we're in the same group together yeah. and we're going to the same school. Uh-huh. It's insane. <laughs> Wait. And then he's dating my friend. Okay, I'm Again. glad. I'm so glad you took it there. You didn't know, did you? You had no idea. <laughs> I'm not dialogue here to tell you stories, Kumba. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to hide. Uh-huh. Seven years, ne? Se- yeah, six, okay, seven y- years. Okay, if I'm being net lap, okay. Kumba, sure. come here, my friend. Let me give you a hug. No, no, go hug trees. I'm good. <laughs> Can hug trees and all those things. I'm not scared, bro. Where do you get all these things you say, Mars Kumba? I think I, I, think I, have, a, a, I have a special gift, but today is not about me. It's about you, <laughs> It's really about you. Yeah, go hug the tree. <laughs> so Skumba's shocked that Lebo and Theo loved one another like on another level. No, it was intense. Like a real relationship. Job. Yeah. Let's leave that for a second. Sure. Chami, and I know it's a sensitive thing, but those last days before Lebo passed away, that Sunday, you in Cape Town get a call from Uthlomla Monday morning. Yeah. And all Tromla says to you is, are you okay? You're not like, am I doing? Because you guys are like genuine friends. Yeah. And Tromla is the kind of person. My first acting work job mm. was with Tromla. And Tromla is like a genuine person. person. Like, you'll yeah, check of on course. you. No, no jokes there. Yeah, no, no play play. Then Uchabulile called you. Yeah. Saying, I thought it was you. Yeah. Lebo was talking about falling in love with you just before she left. Falling in love, getting married, having a baby. baby. Is what yeah. she really wanted. Yeah. Oof. Okay. 
Okay. Tell us about that call, coming back home, seeing Umama Galebu. Ah, oh, why do you want to go there? Okay. So I'm in Cape Town. Um, the day before, I she gave me a call saying we have to go to Jamestown. Uh, mm-hmm. There's something amazing that's happening. It was like, I think, festive season, closer to that. And uh, Chili M was also there. Obviously, Chili M in, uh, invited Lebu and Lebu invited me. And obviously, I just thought, I can't make it because my my, my flight, it's, it's early in the morning. I have to fly to, to, to Cape Town. Yeah. Uh, my call time is way too early. I have to be on the seat, the chair, doing my makeup at six. So imagine the flight it was way too early. So as I was busy with my makeup and getting ready, I get a call from Flomla. And the first thing he asked is like, buddy, are you okay? Mm. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I mean, it's six, six thirty. Sure. Why would you want to call someone and ask if they're okay? Right, on six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh. Yeah, and okay. I'm glad you're good. <coughs> Drop the phone, and then I, yeah, bef- before I think before Theo was some. I mean, uh, Jabulila was someone. Was, I forgot. Now I'm thinking fast because I don't want to waste time. And then Jabulila's call. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Mm. And then Jabulila's call came up. Like my friend. She still calls me my friend. All right. It's young, right? Now I'm starting to feel like uncomfortable. And now like, everyone is asking you, you right? Asking me good thing, right? And I see now you are in April. How? Yeah, just like, right, man. Why would people want to know if I'm right? Like, it's, it, it, it's not you, right? Like, I'm talking to you. It's not me, what? Yeah. My friend, it's true. What are you talking about? And then... Mm. And then the call started coming in. And then the call starts com- the, the call yeah, started yeah. coming in. Traffic, man. All right, Tembi. Sure. Tembi, all right. So I'm like thinking, no, man, this is just too much. Is this true? What is going on? Then I started searching. Mm-hmm. And then my producer, Kim, comes, Tembi, what's going on? What happened to Lebu? What happened to Le- Everybody, what happened to Lebu? It's like, no, man, there's something going on. That was the, the, that was the end of the day. That was the... My day didn't even begin. No, I'm sure. That was like a wrap. That's a that was a wrap. Damn. That was a wrap. And then I had to find myself. I uh, found myself. I don't know how I got to the uh, airport. I don't know how I got to the f- to flight. I don't know how even I got to to Benoni to, to to her place. But eventually, when I got opened the gate, I saw her mom, a very black matra singh. Then that was like okay, it's done. She's not it's here. official. Yeah. And when I saw Lebu's mom sitting there with black clothes, got to go and I just thought, okay, it's true. Do you call Lebu. Theo? <sighs> Lebu, uh, Theo was already there. He was there already? Yeah. He was there already. I'm so proud how you've taken this on, John. Because Lebu was all of us. She yeah. represented all Absolutely. of us. Absolutely. And you've taken it on your shoulders, John. Yeah. You moved on with that hanging over you like you're carrying it. Yeah. She's proud of you without a doubt because we're all Thank proud you. of you. Ne? Thank you, Mahan. But I love your strength, Cho. <laughs> you're brave enough to do your own thing, walk your own path. Yeah. You're not being utemi no lebo, Yeah. Doing her own thing, acting. Yeah. Reinventing yourself. And you know what? That's the gift she left me with. Yeah. Lebo taught me how to be independent. It was, she was the most, she was amazing. She was so smart. And so spiritual and she and a lot of wisdom as well. Yeah. And things that you'd think, where did you learn all of that? But Lebo taught me that you have to stand on your own. She, she used to say, own your songs. Everything that you do, it has to be yours. And I'm like, where did you get that? You know? But obviously when you're young, you hear it, but it's not as effective as when you play it back yeah. in your ear, in your heart, and mm-hmm. your mind is like, she used to say all of this that I am today. Do you know I was shocked when I heard that Beyonce's mom was behind the look. Yeah. No mama my mom was behind Boom Shaka look. The black and white outfit, studio mix, oh, that was my mom. Design. That was my mom. Oh, mama that, was my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that was my mom. Oh, mama kuma kosa. <laughs> Don't Patra and Aaron Hall, Saint of Attraction. Tell us about the song, Tim. Oh, and I don't know if you guys are aware that Patra, okay, Lebo, 
well, Patra sounded exactly like Lebo, or Lebo sounded exactly like Patra, but that's where she got inspiration. That's where she got, um, you know, her tricks with, with Lebo, mean, meaning Lebo. She got her tricks and, and her style and the rawness and the rough, rough noise. I mean, all noise, of it. All of that, the style from Patra. But a whole lot of artists. She looked up uh, up to a whole lot of artists, but Patra was one of them, number one. We want to talk to you some more, my yeah. queen. Unfortunately, we ha- I mean, fortunately, we have to handle business with Ushu Latoa. Jukebox starts off, though. We hang out with the legend Tembi at uh, Thomas and Skuma in the morning on Kai 959. I want to talk to her about growing up as on 14 civil gang. I want to talk to her about living in Yeovil. I love Yeovil. And then from Tembi Sile to Tembi, the artist in Hillbrow with her mom. Ha, you'll find out details about that in a second. Tembi, my says on 14, Joe. Eval. Yeah. Tell me about Tembi Sile. Because I hear that anytime there's a family gathering, it was after, Mr. Tembi, I was so cool, I was so cool. <laughs> Well, Val Gulang Kule Kona. You know, I was raised by my aunt and my uncle and Kimoki Totsin Susutu Sakate. Okay. You know, Sibukin Ki Pleke Abasutu. I didn't hear a thing. Kimoki <laughs> but that's where I learned uh, how to become a woman, to take care of yourself, hukulmaka, hupea, and all of these things that you have to know as mm. a woman because uh, they were very strict, you know, very, very strict principles, kereke, uh, praying, very, you know. Uh, so I'm, I'm really grateful that I had that kind of a background and that training, you know, before heading off to Hillbrow. <laughs> Wait, go to Yeovil first. I mean, really, oh, Yeovil and I, t- Yeovil. I took him to Yeovil. Yeah. Yeah. He lost his mind. Ah, how do you guys have been to Yovo once? <laughs> Uskumba walks into Yovo, takes out his phone out of his pocket, oh, like a cow scene. What? Oh, hell no. Yeah, no. How? But anyway, uh, let me just um, wrap up this book gang. And I grew up with a, 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 a large family. It wasn't only me. We were like six of, six of us. And that also yeah. taught me how to share and how to live. And just becoming a team player. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm able to work with people mm. and just also stretch my working relationships and just keeping them healthy. Sure. You know, and obviously you you grow. And my mom moved. Eventually, uh, she managed to buy a house in Coco Soweto. So I also have a little bit of a background in Soweto, mm. the streets and the survival, the, you know, they call it the sure, survival of sure. the beaches. You have to have the gassy in you guys to survive, man. And D- of, tell him, yeah. tell, you're looking at it the wrong way. Tell him, you need to have the gassy in you a little to bit survive. to survive. Bonsoir. And obviously, life just to to push the, the 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 story. And then we moved to Hillbro. For me, when I heard what are we moving to, uh, to, I was to Hillbro. I was excited, but not knowing exactly why I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you hear about it, this lights, this uh, utter there's music there's all that bars and also it's going to be closer to my school so I was just really excited about it but I also didn't know all my life I was I was preparing because even before meeting Lebo the LNT sure. I was just also still like in music and performing and entertaining my family yeah. you know but not knowing good thing you're pretty and then Hillbro happened and just sort of like you know when the puzzle comes together it's like hey yeah. but nah. like I know this thing but let oh, me take no. it to a, 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 another yeah, yeah, and the funny thing is, go so to Dobsonville. I had a junior's poster on my wall, Prophets of the City. That's crazy. That's insane. Wow. And then I had uh, Brenda Farsi. Brenda Farsi, very close to label, the energy, everything, yes. the buzz, yes. the spirit, you know. And I was just like, these people, Tevin come. I've had these people all my life. Yes, Theo, me. Tevin Campbell. Yes, Theo. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that, that, and by the way, we performed with him, so I left that one up. Anyway. <laughs> And when Hillbro happened, Lebo decided, okay, since we've met and we're LNT, she's going to leave her place, go Daviton, and move to town. Okay? And then Theo also moved from Guatemala. He came to town. And obviously, Junior was already in uh, Hillbro and performing and also traveling the world. As you said, we were still doing the LNT. Junior, I mean, Theo was doing my gens and Junior was with prophets of the city but there was this meeting place called arena Nazo. Mm. arena, arena mm. Mamela, Mamela. high point arena would open at three in the afternoon eh? yeah no and no then, it's called matinee yes <laughs> it, it was like a youth center in a way in a clubby way <laughs> right a youth center I've heard the story. and <laughs> yeah and as majen's theos uh, group uh, LNT, Tembi and Lebu, Junior, Prophets of the City, and him alone, and other groups will come together. And Brazi, we used to like <laughs> beat them. Sure. You know, no Lebu. Oh, you yes. know? I, we, we used to just kill them. 
and will win all these prizes because there were competitions. Obviously, sure. we had to compete with all these groups, and most of them were guys. Always being surrounded by guys, and thank God none of them took advantage of us, including Galawa guys. Yeah, including. You know, I was who including? Yes, who I was speaking about Stone, and uh, there's never a time where we felt like, oh my God, yeah. now we have to protect ourselves. We actually felt protected, like we sure. have our men, and it was sure. just only me and Lebo. I will turn this on. I won't turn that joint later. Later. Yeah. Yeah. later, 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 and we'll take these prices, and that's when we got discovered by U Oscar, mm. and Oscar was like you know what, there's something amazing that's happening. And obviously by that time, Juno was already out there. And so I want to come up with my own solo project, you know, and there's something that I'm working on, Oscar. Please help me to find a female vocalist. And Oscar's like, of course, there's this, this girl that's amazing talking about Lebo. And the meeting happened. I get I'm pushing. The meeting happened. And it was like, if you want to work with me, you have to bring in my sister. Sure. Me, girl, me, yeah. you know. And that's how Junior, Lebo, and Tembi kind of make it happen and then Lebo was like you know what I have uh, someone in Tim my and life mm -hmm. and he can sing he's amazing he's so full and music background with you and that's how Boom Shaka came oh. together that Trendy was the story there was never a uh, idols yeah nah. <laughs> oh, wow okay 20, over 25 years in the wow. game over 25 years in the game we, oh, we know you as a Tembi from Boom Shaka that's what we were talking about Ela on. of course always been known as Tembi with Boom Shaka but be, be, besides Mkulu, besides TV, besides acting, who are you at home? I'm a simple girl. Very Queen. shy. I'm I'm very homey. Sure. I'm a couch buddy. Like, yeah. I love my couch. I the love remote. cooking. I love the remote. Sure. I just love the home base. Yeah, yeah, when after work, and yeah, just that normal life. And for me, I think that was a blessing all along. Without even being aware that was a blessing, you have to have some sort of a normality in your in your life. You know, there's so much that we give away and we share, and sometimes you overshare that you are left with nothing. Sure. Can you have just that small world, a piece of world that you can call yours, and don't share with no one? Tembi, please don't go. <laughs> no, let's have, let's have a part two later this year. Just a little bit after HMR. Oh, just, wow. just, 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 just five just, minutes. Just five, just five minutes. minutes. Okay, I'll be here. Yeah. 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 I just, okay. There's something I need to ask you. Okay, my hand. Because no, of Chukpox. I'm, I'm right here. Oh, and the winner is... Chukpox. Oh, no. Skumba, <sighs> give me the coin, fam. Yeah, hack, hack your trees. Let's do this. Yes. Shout out to Jane. Because on the city, it's not stop, 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 stop. The winner is DJ Spoon. Oh, yes, but <laughs> I'm not fired up. <laughs> okay, Shop, that's the jukebox song. Yeah. Okay, Shop, 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 Shop. Tim, 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 Tim. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm just, okay guys, that's the winning let's song. save right. time. Okay, I'm listening. All right. <laughs> Boom Shaka was. Big, we know this. Yeah. I want to know from you, when did it become scary to be part of Boom Shaka? When all of a sudden you have security around you, people are shaking cars, you can't go anywhere. When were you scared of the fame? And let me tell you, we didn't see it coming. Because then you didn't have social media to, you know, yeah. the numbers and yeah. the buzz and the hype. Yeah. It, it, it was just radio, mm -hmm. remember? Yes. And just one print magazine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just happened, man. It became scary when, <sighs> when you know that you can't go home. What do you mean you can't go home? You can't. You have to wait for everyone to leave. Damn. You can't. You just have to wait for that studio, the, the stadium to be cleared. Because the market in Bamelin, ba they know you what cannot. you're driving. Yeah. It became scary when you had to find a different gate to exit. It became scary when instead of the normal gate, you have to go underground. I win. Yeah. And then going to the mall? We had to buy cars and hide glasses and caps. There was no, we had Bruno. Remember Bodyguard? No, Bruno. I forgot about him. Bruno. No, we had a bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lebu and I, we had a bodyguard. He was so big and tall. You'd, and he was so tiny, come to think of it. <laughs> the like, nicest guy ever. The nicest, nicest guy, guy ever. Remember but, Bruno. But. Mm. but don't mess with him. And he'll just carry the both of us. And then what doesn't get it, Pep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 yeah. Before you say goodbye, but, yeah. I heard that you used to be bullied growing up. Yeah. How are you teaching with DK, your son, now not to be that person? Just in saying goodbye. 
I am teaching DK to communicate. Mm. I am teaching DK to be free and to express himself and to be his own person. Mm. I think once you lay that foundation, your child will never scare, be scared to communicate with you, to mm. tell you anything. Mm. And once you know everything, mm. you are able to handle the matter. Obviously, you'll never teach your child to fight back. I mean, to, to be physical. With other people, yeah. With other people. Mm. But once you have established or you have laid, layered the foundation of communicating, then you know that your, your child will survive. Yeah, no hey, when, we, when you come back on your next interview, we'll talk about the cream that you use on your face and doing a cookie. We'll talk about that on the second interview. But Romanje, still continue using color mine. Looks great on you, yeah. Why are you chasing her away, Joe? We're not done. It's news time! Uh, oh, man, the news doesn't have to go on, man. Are uh, man, we don't need to. Do we have to do news? Ah, uh, man.